was this planted in front of us? Coast of Wado. Okay. Wollongong uh, suffered in recession, so 82 recession. Unemployment was high. Yeah. The government poured a lot of money in, and it was make work projects. One of the things for making work was re vegetate domes that were stressed. Oh, I see. Right. So when they put into spin effects, some places Marum, but Marum doesn't regenerate here. Or no. See. Spin effects goes, and then they put in the spin effects, and they came in and planted coastal water by oh, I see. some native banks here. So it's a big planting program. Yeah, oh. and, and this one was one of the first beaches that was really suffering uh, in the 60s and 70s. Right. And now, when you look down on it, you, you can see it's vegetated and it's got this secondary yeah. vegetation. Well, it yeah. looks like a bit of a thicket on on the hind dunes. There. Well, it uh, grows so well, especially when it rains. Yeah. So things stress during a drought, and you can see the wattle here. Yes. Um, again, probably planted. And it grows uh, the height of a one-story building. Yeah. Well, a lot of people who built their houses with beach views, I mean, <laughs> these phases of where the dunes weren't yeah. stabilized, yeah. And now can't see the beach. No. And uh, you go into car parks and surf clubs, and you can just drive up and sit there overlooking the beach. Yeah. You can't. And now you can't. Goodness. So it had a sort of a undesired consequence then of, of yeah. blocking out sea views. Yeah. But it's kept the dunes in place, I would have thought. It's, it's done a great job for stabilization of the dunes. Great. Um, now, I know in some parts of the coast at the moment, I know we're, I'm in Australia here in, in winter, but there are some areas that, are, that I've seen where the back of the beach is actually being cliffed or scarped. Is that due to winter storms? Uh, that's due to the effects uh, of Ladina, which came in. Uh, very heavy rainfall in North Queensland. Right. Uh, People in northern New South Wales that's coming down south of Brisbane just complaining. People cancelled holidays, go out there, really? just, just go around in tents and caravan parks. Goodness. Um, and that still continued. Uh, Sydney got some of it, and that there were storms with it. Right. And that's where the cliffing came. Oh, I see. But okay. again, it just removed the uh, sand that had piled up. At the toe of the dunes. And yeah, yeah. the last decade. I see. And then once it done that, it cliffs the dunes, and then there are some areas. Again, you have to be very careful with the water table. Right. So when you think about it, I live on a beach, and boy, it's a little bit sandy, but I've got these lush palm trees and this yes. green lawn. <laughs> we sit out there drinking beer, and yeah. what you don't Sounds know nice. is with that green lawn, that you raise the water table. Yeah. And so the water table, you only have to in relation to rainfall, and I forget the figure, it was one meter beach retreat for like 50 millimeters of rain. Right. Um, and it's interesting that if you look at the cliffing along the coast, you generally find some housing area, uh, some golf club, yeah. a bowling club, some area that is not increasing at the water table in that area. Oh, I see. So it's elevating it below and, in the, in the and surrounds. It's eroding the beach a little bit more. The beach comes right. in, it's okay. clipping the dunes. And once that happens, then you find the sand drifts to the other end of the beach. I see. Away from where the, away the, from the, the buildings area. are. Away so. from the, yeah. So then you look at the one end of the beach that doesn't have any housing, and it's usually at the north end. Mm -hmm. And the beach is okay, and at the south end, there's this erosion problem. Where the houses are. Where the houses are. So the aquifer is really tied into local yep. erosion, yep. even within the stretch of one single beach. Very subtle effects, and if you if you have septic systems, uh, it only exacerbates the problem. Yeah. If you're on sewage, you get rid of the water yes. from your sinks and bathtubs and showers and yes. toilet. So I used to tell students that hey, you go away for a weekend uh, to a party with students. You haul in your beer and you piss in the garden and you flush <laughs> the toilets, and all you're doing is eroding the beach. Yes. Uh, students. Well, that's a yeah. that's an interesting human impact on the environment. Yeah, it, yeah. And it, hard to measure. Yes, I, I was, it was pointed out to me by some engineers who were looking at a, an erosion problem at Gosford, north of Sydney, back in a little bit, going into an estuary. Yes, and um, the area is completely flat. Oh, right. I had this erosion problem, and that's what it was. Because it was flat, yes. everybody they had a thousand houses in there, and everybody yeah. had a septic system. Right. They just raised the water table. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize that you know, it could be quite as sensitive as that to, to local construction. 